People ask, how can you feel a part of Denmark if you don't live in Denmark? Yes, you've been to Denmark, but how can you have a sense of the day-to-day -day life if you don't live in Denmark? Well, here's the bonus of living with a Danish woman. Every week, she gets one or two emails from her father who lives in Sebi about what's going on in Sebi and his life. So, here, without further ado, is our intel from our man on the ground in Sebi, my girlfriend's father. March 2nd, God Morgan. It's a bit of a nuisance getting around the town as there's a little too much snow on the ground. The gardener we visited this past summer has turned a hundred years old. Here's a picture of his gardener shop and the gardener with my girlfriend. My girlfriend's father comments, a hundred years old is a high age, I would have to say. And he continues, would you believe it that they have changed the name of the local town newspaper? It used to be the Sabies People's Newspaper, but has been renamed here and now. You would think they were lying. But I got the first issue yesterday, and there it was, here and now. March 6th, Good Morgan. It is Monday here, but I still manage to sleep well on a stream of sports loss. He's a fan of Manchester United, and the Danish handball ladies lost in a rout as well. Things are quiet before the snowstorm tomorrow, but I am ready. March 7th, Good Morgan. Yes, now, the snow came. 15 centimeters, which is quite a lot of snow. It is quiet now and sleeting, and therefore very wet, which is too bad because Sabi looks quite beautiful with snow on the ground on a clear, sunny day. There is going to be a meeting in town about the renewal of the town square. In Sabi, and apparently throughout Denmark, many of these town squares have gone through a number of changes over the years. When my girlfriend was a child, the town square was a parking lot. It was completely covered in asphalt and used as many other town squares in Denmark as a parking lot. Since then, the town has reclaimed their square and used it as a place to meet, which is what a town square should be. March 9th, God Morgan. I hope you are well and not cold like it is in Denmark. My hairs are shivering under the bushes. Now, I got confused here because I thought this was a Danish idiom. Just like the idiom, there's a cow on the ice. Meaning, we have a problem because a cow on the ice is a problem for the cow and the cow's owner. So his comment confused me because I thought it was the hair on his head that was shivering. But what he was talking about was the hairs, the bunny rabbits that were shivering under the bushes in his garden. He continues, it has been a few days and I have finally overcome the losses to my teams, Manchester United and the Danish women's handball team I suffered several days ago. Today they are unveiling a plan for the harbor renovation for that part of the harbor where the two red fish packing factories are. The factories are no longer in use and the town is trying to figure out what to do with them. I hope to get to see these plans. Also, the town square will be renamed New Square in 2024. Well, it is New Square, and you can only rename something so many times New Square, maybe which is just should be Revised Square, because that's what happens on Revised Squares. It's a Revised Square, and then at some point they're gonna revise it again. March 12th, God Morgan. God Morgan from the cities. I have seen the plans for the red fish packing factories. They are big and unelegant. Something has to change. There's a lot of big projects going around here and I hope there's enough money to get them all done. March 16th, God Morgan. Things are coming along quietly here. My feet after four months have finally recovered and I have to wear shoes with inserts. I have been banned from wearing clogs for the rest of my life. They're horrible for your feet, but I guess they're a Danish tradition of some sort. He continues, yesterday there was big drama around here as my neighbor's dog broke free and broke out of the house and ran through the street causing a great deal of commotion. As it ran about, it caused a 10 car traffic jam before my neighbor got hold of its dog collar. 
My neighbor caught his dog by opening his car door and enticing the car to come in. A few tense moments, but a happy ending. March 23rd, God Morgan, thank you for the picture of the pig, but I don't think it was a Blackfoot pig at that butcher. Her father knows pigs, as pork is a staple in Danish cuisine. Then, upon seeing a picture of a Christmas card my girlfriend had sent one of her friends in Denmark that was supposed to arrive on December 15th but didn't get there until March 15th, he commented, well, better late than never. Her father said, it is annoying your friend's Christmas card took so long, but it did make it in the end, which made it ironically appropriate because, as my girlfriend says, there's an expression in Danish that says, Christmas doesn't really end until Easter. Her father continues that it's very cold and damp outside and there is dusty rain. Now, I'm not quite sure dusty rain is. It's not quite rain, but it's still moist and you still feel little droplets but I've never heard of the term dusty rain. So I am still trying to get myself around the concepts, certain concepts of Danish weather. My girlfriend father continues, they're digging a ditch in my next door neighbor's house. It's a big ditch as they are renovating and it's putting a big ditch in my property. I can only hope as they dig through my yard that they don't damage anything like my telephone cables. But don't worry about me, I've been taking care of myself. I've been eating properly and resting enough, and I'm looking forward to a good phone conversation this week. Well, that about does it for this month of news from Sabi and our man on the ground. Till next month, where we'll get some new news. Well, it'll be new news, but it'll still have some of the old news. So it'll be new news and old news combined, making it still new news. And that's something to look forward to. So, till next month, thank you kindly.